Hello, my Geminis. How are you? My name is Misty the Mystic. The angels and guides have helped me to create Sugarfoot Tarot. Welcome, welcome. Um, thank you so, so much. Please check your sun, moon, rising, and your Venus sign, because sometimes there is love um, in these in, in these cards. Um, also, please visit as many readers, astrologies, numerologists as you can. Um, the more you understand yourself and others, the better the world will be. Let me move my angels over here. I've got my IET angel healing angels here um, that we use uh, to heal your chakras and so forth. And we'll call upon them. Dharma, I got my sidekick. I think she's down here sleeping behind the angels. Sleeping, sleeping. It's been a long day. And um, all my information is below. Thank you for visiting. If you're first time here, thank you for visiting. If you've been here before, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, also, my Geminis, this is your angel blessings, advice, messages uh, from the angels and guides for March 2019. Quick rundown before we go over the cards we're going to use. March on the 5th on Tuesday is Fat Tuesday, so it's Mardi Gras. Wednesday, March 6th is um, the New Moon and Ash Wednesday. The 10th is Daylight Savings, that's on a Sunday. 17th is St. Patrick's Day. The 20th is a full moon and the spring equinox. First day of spring. The 21st, it goes into Aries season. Also, Mercury is going retrograde the 5th through the 28th. Uh, Mercury is in retrograde all of the water signs this year. I didn't mention them in my other readings for the month. Um, I just didn't feel like I needed to, but I felt like maybe in these cards I should mention about Mercury and the communication going retrograde. Um, so, my Geminis, let's go ahead and get started. Um, I'm going backwards of how I'm going to read them. So, this is the mm -hmm. crystal that you need to channel or um, keep with you for the month of March. Healing yourself. Shamanic healing. I picked 11 cards, but the, I only have 11 angel cards. Which angel 11 is the angel number. Angel t therapy. 1111 is Angel's Gate, Heaven's Gate. I'm obsessed by angels. The um, Kashik Tarot for Kashik Records. My poor angels, I feel bad. I have, I'm obsessed by them. I know I drive them nuts. Lightworkers. Energy Cards. The Romance Angels. Angel Answers. more angel cards and the final one is the archangel power okay okay i've already pulled them i have not looked at them so let's see what the angels advice or messages need to come to my gemini's when i was meditating i felt like there was a great need so let's find out what that great need is okay epiphany archangel Raciel. joy through the spiritual growth be light to others answer that come through meditation. So you're going to have an epiphany. It's, all the answers are going to come to you. It's just going to spring in your head. And that's from your angels, your guides, family members that have passed on, past lives, um, ancestors. They're going to help you. They're going to tell you what need you need to know. So whatever needs to be done or, or you, you've struggled with, Epiphany, it's just going to happen, a flash of light, and the answer is going to come to you. Ah, it's going to be fabulous, so great, epiphany. Next one, my Geminis, for March 2019, my Geminis. The Knight of Earth, which is the Knight of, of Coins in the regular tarot. Loyal, dedication, honor, and kind. Time to buckle down and get things done. Honor your commitments and guardian angel. So... Um, you're probably at springtime. Everyone's hustling and bustling. You're probably making a list. You're Gemini's. You can do 100 things at once and do them right and do them in a timely manner. That's why we love you. Um, now, there could be someone to come help you. Could be an angel. Could be a human. Could be both. Um, you know, the Knight of Earth, Knight of Coins. Um, slow moving. Money may be slow moving. Um, but buckle down, get things done on your commitments. If you say you're going to do something, do it on your angels. When you pray, honor them, thank them, 
Loyal dedication. Honorable and kind. That's exactly you. Okay. Listen to your intuition. There goes back to the an epiphany. You know, you, you know what needs to be done. Psychically, intuitionally, you know. Um, don't second guess yourself. You know, you, you're twins. You can second guess yourself. Don't. You know what's going on. Don't let anyone steer you different. You know what's happening. Divine timing. So worth waiting for. Divine timing is work at your love life. So um, if you're committed, you could want to plan something, have something done. Um, you want maybe want to get engaged. You want to maybe get married. Maybe you want to buy a dog, buy a house, buy a car. Um, maybe it's someone you've had a crush on or like or dating and you're hoping they'll come around. Well, they're worth waiting for. If you're not with somebody and you're being picky, whomever you want, you may not even know they exist yet. And you pray to your angels and your guides, they'll bring them. It's worth waiting for. Stay single for a while. Play the field because timing is at the work with your love life. It's all divine timing for my singles, my committed couples. Um, whatever it is that you want, it's worth waiting for. So it's worth it. So don't second guess yourself there either. And you have epiphany and you have intuition. Next card. Um, Godness of the moon. Now, you could be dealing with a water sign or you could have water in your chart. But, you know, the moon has a two, two sides to the moon. Dark side of the moon. Um, astronauts have talked about going on the dark side of the moon where it's pitch dark, there's no light, and they hear sounds and music and they can't... And you're, you're Gemini. You're always working on your, sh your shadow side. There's always two of you. You're always working on both sides. So you are going to do shadow work. Um, you are going to be in the light side and the dark side. You are going to get things done. You are going to wait for what needs to be. You're going to have an epiphany. You're absolutely gorgeous. Um, yeah, and of course we have the new moon on the 6th and the full moon on the 20th, which is the first day of spring. So, honor both sides of you. You're magnificent. We love you and you're going to ride both sides of that moon. Okay. My light workers. Okay, internal now. So, you're going to do some, um, you're going to be peaceful. You're going to find that peace. There's going to be a spurt of maturity or growth in both sides of my Geminis this month. There's going to, you're going to level up is what I would like, I like to call it. Leveling up and being patient and, and, and speaking your truth. I see something needs to be said. Breathing in, breathing out. Um honoring your voice your voice needs to be heard sometimes you hold it in and you shouldn't say what needs to be said and um you know the throat chakra is celestina it's expression it's your throat neck and lungs it's the fifth chakra so when you're meditating um go into that and you know it's dark blue meditate on dark blue and speak your truth and you're going to find a you're going to be very peaceful this month there's a, belt, there's a peaceful side to you. And wisdom. Like a wise old owl. You're young. But people are going to come to you because you're going to be wise. Kashuk Records. The Muse. Goodness. Well, fantastic. Um, so, you're going to be everyone's muse. You're very creative. People are going to see you and they're going to be like, Oh, I want to paint this. I want to do this. I can cook this. I can do this. Um, and, and, and in you, you're going to be so creative. You're going to be your own muse and everyone else's muse. You know, all these beautiful springtime flowers that are blooming. Everything's coming up. Everyone's, everything's growing. It's gorgeous. And, uh, apple, uh, cherry blossom trees is what I'm seeing. And you're just going to be so creative and you're going to inspire everyone around you. That's that. That moon goddess, that's that's both sides of the moon. Um, my Venus is in Gemini, and I've been told my entire life that I'm their muse. And I, I'm glad that I, I help other people. That's fantastic. You know, people write songs about something that was said, or I bring it up, or I bring out... You're going to bring out the good in people. You're going to have that wisdom and that peace. Okay. 
Cut the cords. Ask Archangel Michael to tear to clear any old attachments to fear that stem from past relationships, freeing you from destructive patterns. So that's that dark side of the moon. You're working on your um, your shadow side, your past lives, the past worlds, people that at work has treated you badly, friends that have treated you badly, relationships has treated you badly. Um, um, you're letting that go. And Archangel Michael, you know that. That is our second chakra in our kidneys. If your kidneys are hurting and you're like, I need cranberry juice. Well, you just need to clear out that fear. Bring and ask, call in Archangel Michael for protection and let go of that fear of how people have treated you. It's the color orange. So when you meditate, meditate on your kidneys on the color orange and pray. Take away this fear. Bring in protection. Um, you are protective. Archangel Michael is there for you. And just let go of the past. You are a muse. You're beautiful. You're going to have an epiphany. You're, you're peaceful. Let go of all that that doesn't serve you anymore. It's springtime. Let everything come up new. All anew. We've got three more cards. Shamans. Self-love. So, I see sadness. Depression. Insecurity. That shadow, shadow side coming out. The dark side of the moon. Don't let it. You're beautiful. Um, yes, we need light and dark so that we can enjoy the light. We need both. I see sun. I see sadness. Those twins, those Gemini twins, self-love. Work on that self-love because you are magnificent. You are a muse. You're Peter Pan. You're fun. You're young. You'll never age. We love you and we need you. So definitely work on that self-love. And, um... You're amazing. You're amazing. Second to last card, sadness. Oh, two fives in a row. Oh, sugar, you do need change. You, you're beautiful. All Geminis are gorgeous. You have those long arms, long limbs. You're graceful. You're beautiful. You can do everything at once. Don't be sad, sugar. If you are sad, honor that. Take that shadow side, work through it, and then let it go. Let it go. That shadow work doesn't... It's important, but let it go. So this is a crystal that you need to carry. If you own it, great. Put it in your pocketbook, put it in your purse, put it in your vehicle. If not, run out, purchase this, or channel it when you're med meditating. Aquamarine. Oh, this is so beautiful. Courage. And the throat chakra. So yes, call into um, the angel Chalestina, the fifth chakra. And um, it's light blue. Um, a self-expression. Say what needs to be said. Courage. Courage, courage, courage. You've got this. So grab Aquamarina. Aquamarine. Grab it. Take care of yourself, my Gemini. I love you so, so much. Until next time. Bye-bye.